want to hear a secret, come closer. I will tell you. My favorite comic book is the We Are Robin, because we are Robin. Like it or not, CCPD presents We Are Robin: Rise of the Jokers review. So, do you read We Are Robin? If not, then you're making a massively huge, big mistake. Because Lee Bermajo's story is freaking wicked. Easily one of the best original story so far in the New 52, and it has a creative universe, it has amazing characters, and it has just a great way of storytelling. I think these are the main things what I really love in Lee Bermajo's story in the first seven issue, and after the Robin War, I just started to find it even more interesting and even a lot better, which I felt impossible because the first seven issue was so good and the Robin War put uh, the expectations so high. I just didn't think they can jump on it, but Lee Bermajo did. I mean, this storyline with the raising of the Joker is just feels easily the best thing what DC will came up this year. Especially if you heard about the new Scooby-Doo Apocalypse version. What? This issue was really good because we have a chance to see everyone from the group and pick their life up after the Robin War where they are after a couple of weeks later. We have a chance to meet with this guy who probably will be the new Joker and who can freak the hell out of us. Okay, maybe this is just a theory, but what if? If the Joker who we see in this storyline based on the character who we saw in Gotham. Because I think there is a little thing in common, even if it's not really that much, but we see in this issue the rays of the Joker and it's freaking wicked. We also have a chance to see what happened with the people who get affected by the Joker virus what we saw a long, long time ago. I think maybe it was summer, or even before summer, in the endgame of the Batman series. It was really nice to see that event has an effect on the people and it's still around. So we can't really forget it. The way he told the story was really incredible because we have two storylines going on and we still have a chance to see everyone else. I think it's pretty simple to figure out who is the best villain in comic books and Yes, that is the Joker. Do we know any other Joker beside the, the one who was in the Batman Beyond series? On the TV show, the animated version, not on the comic book. I can't think about anyone, so hopefully... Yeah, this will be a brand new Joker, so... Lee Bermajo put down a brand new Joker for us and we love it, right? Do you love it? You should. You should, <laughs> you totally should, because it was amazing. It is a great story, it's so amazing in every single level that if you're not reading this then are you reading any comic book by the way because this is pretty basic comic so yeah let's let's just check it out because we are robin and now we should rename the series to we are joker hmm? i also read this week the brand new lois and clark series and it was amazing i mean especially in the beginning the first scene where we have a chance to go back in time and see Lois and Clark together, spending a romantic weekend together, and not to worry about to meet with any of their old fellows from this world. Oh, wait. They worry about that a lot. But technically they met with Jimmy Ozen. That's a different question that Jimmy didn't see them, but you know. That was definitely my favorite part in this storyline. And I think it was a little bit better than the previous issue, Especially because we have a chance to see them on their anniversary where Clark get his black suit because he burned too many of them and Lois was a little bit pissed off. Then we're getting back to the present when we see Superman in action and it was an amazing storyline as well. So I think it was a little bit more action packed, it was a little bit more heartwarming and definitely it was a lot better than the previous issue which I think it's a winning for everyone who reading Lois and Clark. I don't know what do you think about it, but I really, really love this story because it's just so much fun and entertaining and a little bit, tiny little bit. It's romantic as well, at least at some point, especially when they bring in John in. And if you realize, John will be in pretty big danger and Lois will, let's just say, she will hate herself 
for doing this with his son. But hey, that's what you do when you are Lois Lane, don't you? So this was what I read this week, but what about you? What did you read? What makes you happy in comics this week? What did you hate in it? Tell me, what did you read? What should I read? And I will tell you what you should read. And then we can have a nice conversation in the comments below or send me an email into this address and then I will answer it and then we can have a nice conversation. VR Robin is the most essential comics from the DC lineup right now. And Lois and Clark was really, really heartwarming, and Superman was great as well. But I don't want to spoil her too much. But here's one thing what I find really interesting this week is the Angry Birds comic isn't bad that much. So you should maybe give it a chance. It was fun, sort of. See you next week. Till then, read everything.